we're going to talk about the 16 sustainable development goals for the first year 2015 to 2030. First, let's enumerate the 17 sustainable goals. First, have the poverty, zero hunger, good health and well being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth industry innovation and infrastructure reduce reduce at qualities 11 in the sustainable cities and communities responsible consumption and production climate action life below life on the land peace and justice strong institution and the last one is the partnership of the goals and here's my top global issue Let's first the property, which is all about not having enough money to meet basic needs, including food, clothing, and shelter. However, poverty is more much more not just having enough money. Second is the decent work and economic growth. As one of the first countries to the mainstream decent work and productive development in national and sectoral development planning, the Philippines has long recognized and role of decent and productive employment in achieving inclusive growth and reducing poverty. The third one is the gender equality. Ending all the discrimination against women and girls is not only a basic human right, it's a crucial for a sustainable future. It's proving that empowering women and girls help economic growth and development. The fourth one is the peace, justice and strong institution. We cannot hope for sustainable development without peace, stability, human rights, and effective governance. Based on the rule of the law, yet the world is increasingly divided. Some religions enjoy peace, security, and prosperity, while others fall into the seemingly endless cycles and conflicts and violence. It's not inevitable and must be addressed. However, I have one goal issue to resolve which is the fifth is the quality education. According to my research, since 2000, there has been numerous progress in achieving the target of universal primary education. The total enrollment rate in the development religions reached 91% in 2015, and the whole worldwide number of children out of school has dropped by almost half. And there has also been dramatic issue and literary rates and many more girls in the school than ever before. These are the remarkable success. Progress has also been top in some development regions due to the high level of poverty, armed conflicts in the emergency in Western Asia and North Africa. Ongoing armed conflict has seen increase in the number of children out of school. This is a worrying trend while sub Africa made a greatest greatest progress in primary school and enrollment among the development regions from 52% in 1990 up to 70% in 2012. Largest disparities dis still remain. Children from the poorest household are up for the four times more likely out to be schooled than do so richest households. Disparities between rural and urban areas are also in high. Achieving this quality of education for older reaffirms the belief of education is one of the most powerful and forbid vehicles and sustainable development. This is goals ensures that all girls and boys complete their primary and secondary schooling by 2030. It also aims to provide equal access to affordable vocational training and to eliminate gender health disparities and achieve universal access to equality and education. And I personally do believe the proper ang kabataan ng pag bayan. And as a future teacher, it was my responsibility to help every child in my classroom grows towards becoming a well-grounded human being who feels that I can be successful. For the instance, after I have taught my deal skills to my students, I always see something positive and uplifting to motivate 
and to encourage success in them. Knowing that learning is vital, teachers must accomplish learning by meeting physical, mental, emotional, and intellectual needs for every student. Thank you and I hope you have something to learn about this video. Thank <laughs> you.